This is the, the St Pancras and Islington Cemetery in North London, um, uh, between Muswell Hill and Finchley. Uh, you can see that there's, there's some really interesting graves here. You've got a captain here from the British Army um, who died in 1918, right at the end of the First World War. Um, but if you look at all the campaigns he served in, Egypt, Macedonia, Gallipoli, um, and just over here you've got a master mariner um, whose ship was torpedoed in the English Channel on April the 6th, 1916 and died of shell shock, aged 26. Robert Samuel Nodes. But what's interesting about this place is that um, it's been here for about 150 years and uh, a lot of the old graves are just left so you can see like it, they're all entirely overgrown um, you've got here Chef sheriff of western australia who was a member of the survey department for australia and died in 1883 alfred hillman but part of this policy, because th this is uh, a working cemetery still, so you can actually book yourself a slot if you want to get buried here. But uh, because it's been here for so long, they have this almost as a, as a nature reserve. So um, a lot of it is preserved and, and entirely overgrown like this. Which I guess, you know, if you're coming to visit someone's grave, it looks a bit disrespectful. But, you know, some of these have been here for um, 150 years or so. So this area where I am at the moment seems to be all around 1875. But this one here is really interesting. Um, you see, you've got to walk through all this undergrowth to get to it. It's not even maintained at all or anything. Uh, but look, let me take a look at this grave. Particularly John Ross, who died in 1879. Um, but what's interesting is he's got the Victoria Cross and I can see that someone here has put um, a ballad of the Victoria Cross. Kevin Brazier. So someone still remembers at least. Um, I looked up John Ross actually and what's really interesting about him is that uh, he was one of the very first, the first batch to get the Victoria Cross from Queen Victoria. Um, and he got it for bravery at... Uh, I think it was Charge of the Light Brigade. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. I wrote about it on my blog, actually. But uh, if you type John Ross VC into Google, you can probably find the stuff on my blog. Um, you've got uh, a Member of Parliament here. John Joseph Powell, formerly a Member of Parliament for Gloucester. This place is just packed full of interesting stuff. You know, there's, there's people here... Um, and really a variety of types of grave because it spans from the 1840s right through to the modern modern day 